Welcome to the Baccarat Zone. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to get into some today. We're going to get into some. Uh, we're going to we're going to call this chart analysis now because we're going to from this point on. We're going to be doing charting analysis as far as support resistance counter trades or counter bets is another word for counter trades but counter bets and the sheet you see before you is the new charting uh sheet that uh for my personal use i have i have had done up you can also uh purchase this sheet the sheet is 35 dollars it's it runs in excel and basically, you can do your own charting with this with this sheet as you see. Banker, player, tie, banker, 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 tie, and it gives you, it tells you where you're at as far as the count on the other side. So I had quite a few people inquiring about this. Uh, I'm going to put the link down below. You can go PayPal. Now you can go PayPal or Cash App. So click on with you click on the PayPal account. Uh, make sure you put in the note area uh, Baccarat Excel spreadsheet, and I'll know what it's for. And I will email you the spreadsheet after I receive the payment. Okay. Now, with that being said, let's get it on here. Let's get it on here. Okay. Chart you see before you is something I got off the internet. I decided to chart it because this particular pattern is being sold on the internet. I want to say, don't quote me on this, but somewhere between five and ten grand I've, I've even seen some patterns from this particular place and I'm not naming no names as high as 15 and 20 grand for a pattern for a charting pattern and it's supposed to give you a certain percentage uh, win on that particular pattern but the thing is my thing is you have to wait for the pattern to pop up in order to use it with that being said I put that particular shoe into my charting program and from what I see man there are minty not minty haha <laughs> plenty of patterns just looking at my chart that you can dive into now let me say something real quick you know the, the, the reason why I done this is because you know, every time I see something that I like or that I thought I might have liked dealing with uh, a back wrap pattern, it's for sale or, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not going down that road. I'm not going down that road. You know, what I'm showing you here, trust me, what I'm showing you here, this chart becomes irrelevant. A chart becomes irrelevant. This chart right here, all I need to do is chart this right here. Now, a lot of people are coming in on the middle of my videos and they're, you know, they might make a comment like, I don't understand what you're doing. My, my videos are progressing each time I release a video. So, in order to understand the premise that I'm coming from, as far as knowing when to bet banker, knowing when to bet player, reading support and resistance, start from the first video. That's a good thing about YouTube. You can play videos over and over again. And after you watch the videos, if you still have any questions, shoot me an email shoot me an email or leave 
leave leave a comment down in the comment section and I'll try to uh, address that issue that you're having. But if I see you asking a question that I know that I have covered in the video, then I know you haven't watched the videos. Do your homework. Plan a game of Baccarat. If you're talking about playing this game and trying to make money consistently, there's no such thing as a shortcut. There are no shortcuts in life. There are no shortcuts in life. Either you're going, to, you, you, you're going to put the work in or you're not going to put the work in. There are no shortcuts in life. I've, see, I've, I've seen, I have had just about every system in Baccarat out there. I have it, either I have it in PDF format and I have seen them all. And when you're charting this way down here, I have yet seen a system that deals with every situation that you're going to run into in the game of Baccarat. When you're playing a game of Baccarat, there's always, if you, if you buy a system, it's always, yeah, but. And when I say, yeah, but, I got that from a buddy of mine, a friend of mine. Yeah, when, when there's a yeah, but, in, in the situation with this, the yeah, but means, but the shoe has to run this way. Or we can't see so many. Or, but we got to wait for this to pop up. Or wait for that to pop up. Let me tell you something. When you're dealing with a chart, this way you can handle every situation that comes your way don't quote me on that <laughs> that's on that's that's on a not held basis we had to say that at, at the options desk when we uh when a client got into a trade <laughs> we always had to say yeah that's on a not held basis but you're seeing more charting this way than this way okay whether you're going for i don't care what kind of system you're playing you can play i i played a system and i keep telling you guys this because it was traumatic to me i played a system and i think i was playing like the best out of seven i was playing the best out of seven and whoever won the last best out of seven I would start betting the opposite. And I was betting the Martingale. That's what got me into that Martingale back in, like I said, that happened back in the 90s. And I, 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 I came to remember that was the best out of seven system. You get, the, you, you see systems, best out of three, best out of four. I did the best out of seven because I didn't want to, I, and, and all I was looking for was one win. And I forgot what reset it. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, whatever reset it. I didn't get a chance to see that last reset. <laughs> Tell you that right now. I caught a run. I think I was betting going for player. And I never saw player again for like at least 10 to 12 plays. It was enough to bust my butt. It was enough to break my bankroll. Martingale system, I'm not feeling it. I think you guys know how I feel about that. But let's get back into this shoe right here. This particular shoe, I copied off the internet. And this particular company sells patterns. And they're looking for one pattern on this particular shoe. Hey, to each his own. If, if, if you feel that you can buy this particular pattern and, and use this particular pattern in the shoe that's fine but to pay seven thousand ten thousand for a pattern huh, i don't think so that's a that's a playing bankroll that's your playing bankroll right there i don't care how much money you got it seems like the more money we get the the more we get a, a, away from reality you know you can easily forget oh I, I'm, I'm making a i, I made 80 grand or or, or or 90 grand playing baccarat 
I can I can afford to spend ten grand. No, you don't 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 spend ten grand on no patent. Don't ever do that. You feel like you want to give away ten grand? Then donate it. So donate it to cancer research or something like that. But just don't, it's just just don't do that because what I'm showing you here, this charting technique I'm showing you here, this is the same charting technique that traders use to get in and out of the market. And this chart right here is actually equivalent to what you call a wrinkle chart in charting. It looks like a wrinkle chart. I love it. It's a clean chart. You get to see the support and the resistance very easily. You get to see when you're inside of a range very easily. You get to see the breakouts whether it's breaking to the upside or breaking to the downside very easily. You cannot detect, you cannot detect that you got, let's say you got resistance right here at play eight, play 10. You got my, you got made, I'm gonna call that just major resistance right there. Anytime you get more than one touch or one failure at a particular place. I, I use that as a uh, major resistance. Okay. Anytime you only get one touch, that's one touch. That's minor. I'm gonna call that minor. One touch is we're going to call minor. Two or more, we're going to call that major support or resistance. This is, we'll talk about that. That's major right there. That's major right there. That's minor. That's major support. Major support. Major support. All because all of these are on the same line. If I don't, if I, if I, if I forget to talk about that, remind me because we, I, a lot of a lot of you guys are not understanding support and resistance. Like I said, go back and watch uh, the first video because I'm progressing as we go along. At some point, I'll do a review, a video for review, but uh, I just want to keep progressing as we go along because there, there's so much to learn in charting. Uh, don't want to forget, you know, and, and, and get lost in where we're at. So I'm, I'm just trying to progress as we go along. Back to this shoe again. <laughs> this pattern. Five, might be five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Don't know. They're guaranteeing ninety something percent, eighty something percent, whatever, whatever they're guaranteeing. That's fine. That's cool. But what I see in this shoe, based on, and I forgot, and I don't know what that pattern was. I don't know where you start betting or whatever the case might be. And you, a lot of you guys know who I'm talking about or know what company I'm talking about. But when you chart it this way, Okay, let's get into this shoe. Let's get into this shoe. Minor support right there. You start off with market structure. Don't forget, we're starting off with March market structure. Okay. We have a higher high right here. Higher high. This is the last high. That's a higher high. I know that's a player, but that's the first play of the game. So that's a higher high. Broke that high, made higher high, and turned into major resistance. Okay? Right here. We got a range right here. Got a little choppy range. Went down to even. But here's your key. Here's the key right here. This is the breakout. It broke the resistance of these two bankers right here. That's your major breakout at play number 15. So with that being your major breakout, 
you can very easily wait for that confirmation, which this is your confirmation. So say you started betting right here, and I'm, I'm just doing this on a conservative basis. One unit, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom, you would have lost that one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you would have came out with a plus six units right there. That's that's just playing this breakout right here. You're risking, you're risking the risk on this to find out if that's a breakout. You're risking one unit. You're risking one unit. Whatever that unit might be, that you your your whatever your minimum bet might be, it might be a twenty-five dollar chip, it might be a ten dollar chip, it might be a hundred dollar chip, whatever that unit might be, you're risking one unit to 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 after this confirmation right here. So you're putting you're betting a one right here and catching the follow through. If it doesn't if it doesn't follow through. If it doesn't follow through and you catch a player right here, you only lost one unit. You're risking one unit to find out if you're going to catch a run. You caught a run there. That's, that's plus six units. You caught six units on this run right here. That's a pattern. <laughs> I'm not charging you 10,000 for this pattern. You're learning this technique for free because I'm tired of seeing people just every time they come up with something new, I'm going to charge you for it. That shit gets on my nerves. It, 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 it really does. So let's get back to this. This is a pattern. You, you caught six units right here. This right here, you got resistance right here. It didn't become major resistance to this second banker came right here and failed. With this failing, and you have, what do we have here? You have, let's discuss this right here. This is a counterplay. That's a counterplay because look at your market structure. Now you have a lower high. Let me try that again. You have a lower high. And then right here, you couldn't break. It couldn't get back above plus nine. So now you have a lower high you have major support right there that's a counterplay to the downside with that being said that's your confirmation you can start betting player but you're only going to bet player up until this point right here up until that point of resistance that's what you call a counterplay Now, the way you guys saw me bet in the simulation, if you bet that up until that area, you got, you got a plus one right there. You bet in another one right here, you lost. You go two units, you lost that. Three units, you won that. And you come down by one. And you come down to two units, you won that. One unit, you won that. One unit, you won that. One, you keep doing it till you till you lose. You won that. You can bet, but you this is this is just an example of how I bet. You can bet and be as aggressive or con as conservative as you want. One unit here, you won that. 
and then boom as soon as you lose you stop because don't forget we're on a plus side of zero here in a bank of favorite shoot don't become so stubborn that you say oh no i want to keep betting player pay attention to your market structure notice notice where it stopped at it stopped right here so now going to put a new term on you guys resistance becomes support So right here, just in this run, not only did you do plus six on this run up on the banker side, you got plus one, even, minus, what's that, uh, minus two, plus one, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, lose one plus six. So not only did you catch plus six running up on the banker side, you caught a plus six coming down on the player side. Now you're you're twelve you're twelve units to the good already at least twelve units to the good. I think I counted that right. If I did if I did it wrong, correct me. I think I counted that right though. Uh, you're twelve units to the good already, and you're already halfway through the shoe at hand number thirty nine. At this point, implement. At this point with plus twelve. Implement your two tick your, your your two unit stop loss. So you get down to plus ten, you're done. You're done for this shoot. You're done. But this is just an example of how you read these charts the same way you read a trading chart. This is a baccarat chart. This is a I'm gonna call this the baccarat wrinkle chart. <laughs> But this is, this is an example of how I do in a casino, and I do have some real casino shoes. I will be showing them in upcoming videos. This is how you bet. This is how you do, and I got some, I, when I first started out, I don't mean to skip the subject, let me tell you something for a split second. When I first started out, I have some losing shoes when I started to realize what was going on and then I put them into the charting program and I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This is, this is, this is the real deal right here. You don't have to buy no systems. You don't have to buy no patterns. I'm dropping some gold, some gems on you guys right here, right now. This is, this is, uh, priceless. <laughs> You ever seen that, that commercial where they say, I spent so-and-so, I spent $300 for a system, and I made two units, and I spent $500, but I learned this system for free. It was priceless. This is a priceless opportunity here. And I keep saying it because I'm still being blown away myself by what I'm starting to learn just from looking at it this way. I'm going I'm, I'm to tell you, let me tell you a story. Somehow we got caught into looking at a chart this way. And I'm, I'm not into the history of Baccarat. I don't know how it came about. I'm watching a, a show. This is an old time. This is an old show. It came out in the 90s. I want to say it was Kamish or something like that. He went in the kitchen. <laughs> His wife was baking some bread or something like that. And she was kneading the dough. And when she put it in the pan, she took a piece of dough out the pan and threw it in the trash. And he looked as well. He said, why did you do that? She said, because that's the way my aunt taught me. That was part of the recipe. So he calls her aunt, his wife's aunt, and say, aunt so-and-so, you know this recipe where da 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 And he explains to her, and, she say, and he says, she took some dough out and she threw took the sticks and dog the pan and threw it and threw it in the trash. Well, why do you do that? And she said, I don't know. That's the way my great aunt taught me. And just so happened, her great aunt was still living. So he calls her great aunt. And he says, Aunt so and so, uh, my wife's in here using your recipe, blah, blah, blah. I noticed she took some of the dough out the pan and threw it in the trash. Why why did you do that? 
She said, because the pan wasn't big enough. <laughs> I thought that was, I thought that this is perfect for what, we don't know why they started charting Baccarat this way, but somehow we're hooked on, this is the only way it could be done. Now, they have something in trading called point and figure. And I'm going to make a point and figure chart because this almost looks like a point and figure chart. I'm going to make a point and figure chart and I'm going to show you the difference between this chart and a point and figure chart. That's going to be on another one of my uh, future videos. You know, I, I don't put out as many videos because what I'm trying to do is I want to put out some good quality videos and I really want you guys to really learn and understand what charting is about. Like I said, by the time you guys finish learning this, you're going to be able to look at a stock chart, Forex chart, coffee, cocoa, sugar, pork, belly, soybeans, whatever you want to do, and you're going to have some type of basic understanding of what's going on. Okay? So, when she said, I threw the doorway because the pan wasn't big enough. She was forced to use a small pan and she never had a big enough pan to chart the way she wanted to chart. Think about that story. Okay, back to this chart. So, so far, we're up 12 units. Okay, not forgetting we're in a banker's shoe. So, with us being up 12 units, and this is all this is hypothetical. Of course, this is uh, hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. But I'm just trying to give you guys an idea of what's going on here in this shoe. Okay? And, and helping you guys understand support, reading support and resistance and counter trades. And this, is, this lesson today is about counter trades. This is a counter trade or a counter bet, I should say. So if we're up 12 units on this shoe and we got down to here, which is, got to, it got down to this area, turned into support, resistance became support, okay? Okay, look at this market structure right there. We got a higher low. We got a higher low. Higher low was established after this banker right here. So wait, even waiting for that, you're back on the banker run again. So you're one, one, bang, you lose. That's, that's another unit right there. That's one unit right there. Recognizing it's resistance. Only, only knowing or establishing resistance after that player comes right there. So... Let's just look at it. We're plus 12 over here with this and with that. Now you're plus 13. You hit resistance here. You got a player right there, which confirms a counter trade. And you just keep betting player on that counter trade until you lose. Bang. So now you got plus one right here, plus one right there plus one right there, minus one right there. I'm just giving you guys an example. These, they don't, don't use my betting as the Bible. You can play around. Once you learn how to read the support, I, I, I just want you guys to understand and look at the support and resistance and be able to see it on a whim. Having this charting program helps you Get an eye. Once you chart enough shoes, get an eye for support and resistance. And I guarantee you, I tell you this much, you take your losing shoes and you get this sheet from me and you run your losing shoes through this sheet. You're going to see something that you've never seen before. So right here, you got one, two, three, back to two. Now you got another two units here. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15. Now you, now you got 15 units. Not forgetting, cannot forget, and it's very easy to forget, we're on the banker side. We're on the banker side. 
boom, boom. With all three of these on the same line, that's your breakout. So even if you played these two right here, you're even. That's an even. You're plus one, minus one, you're even right now. But guess what? Now you have, look at the market structure. You have a lower high right here. You have a breakout right here. You lose one. Okay. Minus one right there. Back down to support. Of course, we have coming up on the last hand. Confirmation. Win that bet. Plus one. You're plus 16 hypothetically in this shoot. You're plus 16 hypothetically in this shoot. Think about that. If you decide to get this sheet from me, run your shoes through this sheet. It's not, it's not hard at all. It's not hard at all. Let's go, let's go to that sheet for a minute. And by the way, uh, I just want you guys to see. Look at all these backrest simulation programs I have. I have no problem getting a simulation. When I was when I was on it, and this and all these simulations happened in the past couple months. When I really decided, you know what, I'm starting to see something here. This is, and these are the simulation programs I have. I have Baccarat Buster 3. And it's good to have other simulation programs because when you want to run a practice shoe, run another one of those simulation programs and you run this sheet right here. And every time uh, you get a result, enter the result. And just enter the result. And see and see how that shoe and see how that shoe plays out. I guarantee you, you will see something different. And as you can see, I have the numbers over here. And I did this for my own personal use. I wasn't looking to make no money off of this. I just did this, but you know, quite a few people were inquiring about it, and I paid quite a bit just to have this done. It, it's, I I couldn't believe what you know. I'm, I'm going to have to learn Excel programming. That's what I'm going to have to do. But, you know, if you get this sheet and you see something that you can add on and it benefits, let me know. Send me, send me, send me an uh, email. Let me know if, if, you can, if you can find something, that, a better way of doing this. I'm open. I'm open to ideas. Gives me the number of players, the number of bankers, the number of ties. And I just did this randomly. And look at this. Lower high. Lower high, lower low, lower low. This is incredible because Baccarat Shoes, there's a guy who left a comment. Can't think of his name right now. I want to say his name was Glenn something. He said these shoes have their own momentum. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. They aren't based, it's, it, if you understand the market, the market is based on buyers and sellers. When you got more buyers and sellers, the market goes up. When you got more sellers than buyers, the market goes down. But these cards don't have buyers and sellers. They have their own momentum. It's what's, what was so funny about that comment. I loved it. So, like I said, you'll see the PayPal link below. You also see a Cash App link below if you decide to get this sheet. And uh, that particular shoe we just went through, let's go back to that shoe. This particular shoe right here, I got it off the internet. And uh, they were just waiting for a particular pattern on this particular shoe. And you would have had to fucking take out a second mortgage just to buy the pattern. <laughs> I'm not falling for it no more. I'm not falling for it no more. Every time I turn around, there's somebody charging 200, 300, 400 for a new system. Eh, 
you know what? Run your chart. We're going to call this the Baccarat Rinko chart. I'm going to rename this chart. I'm going to call it the Baccarat Rinko chart. Run your Baccarat Rinko chart and look for your support. Look for your resistance. Trust me. You're only risking one chip to find out if you're going to catch a run. And nine times out of ten, don't quote me on this, but when you see a breakout like this, it's going to have you in direction of the run. That's what we play for. We, man, I, I wish, I wish I, I have, I actually have a shoe. When I first started talking, and, I, and like I said, I'm going to put some of my real shoes on. I actually have a shoe, and it was a breakout on the shoe. And I'm like, I don't fucking believe this. And the shoe ran. I think I got like one or two units out of the run because I was still in amazement about the momentum as, damn, this is a banker run and it's running? God dog it. And, and I think it was a player run though. Do I have that shoe somewhere on here? Let me see if I have that shoe somewhere on here. I think it was a player run or something. And I was amazed at how that shoe I don't know where it is right now. I'm going to have to find it, but I will. I will post that shoe and analyze my shoe. How that shoe looked just like a trading chart. And that's the more to the story and the more to these videos. I'm teaching you guys how to chart. I'm teaching you guys how to read support, resistance, and counter trades. Welcome to the Baccarat Zone. Don't forget, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, there are more videos to come. Each video is going to progress as we go on. And then at some point, I'll do a review. But if you don't understand what I am talking about, go back and start watching from the beginning of the videos. That way you'll have a better understanding of what's going on here and how to chart a Baccarat Rinko chart. Thanks a lot. Talk to you guys soon.